Hey guys, today I'm doing the Tech 4 mod. I did the Scout a while, like, uh, a while ago. So I'm doing the Tech 4. I showed it in the Scout video. It's a pretty good gun. So, uh, onto the mod. Basically, you take out like seven or eight screws on the body. Here, here, it doesn't matter. It's, it's really self-explanatory. Then the shell just lifts off like this. Nothing on this side. And it's, once again, really simple internals in here. So, the plunger tube, the spring. Uh, so this is the actual plunger tube. And this is the plunger. This spring is a very, very tough spring, especially for a Busby gun. And so that, maybe that's the reason it's shooting so far. So then on here is the seal, which is this thing. I, I will be putting Teflon tape on that. And screwed in here is the trigger mech. It basically, is the catch right here. And it goes down like this. So, and to get uh, this little barrel thing off. There's a screw in here that I will be removing just to see what's in there because I have no idea. It looks like it's just coming off. And there's a seal on. There's a seal right here on the plunger tube, I guess. Yeah, the plunger tube right here. I will get this fully off. Still may not come off. So here is that. In here is a spring, which basically is the turning mechanism. And here. Don't touch that. Here we might be modifying the seal a little, maybe re-grease it a little. And in here is basically a unmoddable air restrictor because this thing just is solid. So if I can figure out anything to do for that, then I'll do that later. There's really nothing that you should do to the spring or could do to the spring right now because I can't figure out how to get it off. And this is already a really tough spring. So I'll be modding the seal a little, and maybe uh, taking away some of the sound, because this gun is really loud. Okay, so I did a lot of mods to this. Actually, not a lot, but it was quite a few at least. And uh, there are some that I didn't mention. So I was able to get the air restrictor out, although it's basically just a dark pen. So, uh, it's, see, now it's gone and there's a clear shot through. Also, I wrapped tape. Uh, it's, it's at a weird angle, but you probably can't see it in camera because there are actually little slits in the barrel that are supposed to just like, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's useless, so I put tape around that. Another thing I didn't mention was that the, <coughs> the air release hole over here, sorry, um, over here, uh, the clear tape kind of covers it, but, and this thing is white, so you can't really see it. And that was because they had this gigantic hole right here. And, and the final thing would be the seal. Actually, that was part of the seal. And I put some Teflon tape underneath. So I'll see you when I put it all back together. I finished the Tech 4 mod, and... Uh, I basically did everything that I mentioned in the last segment, so, uh, and then in between I just put it back together. So I'm going to shoot off four darts. I haven't tested this yet, so I'm just going to test it on camera. Four darts, Busby, uh, Whist uh, Tagger, Whistler, and Streamer. It primes and looks the same. The Streamline shot better than the other ones. Or, I don't know, yet, but that, that should have shot like 35 feet around, or possibly more. And the Whistler was four The Tagger was okay. And the Fuzzy. This 
The bus beat was also okay. So, the thing is, the uh, used to thrive with whistlers, and now it's horrible with whistlers, but this is now good with tagger streamlines, and section buzzbees. So, I guess, thanks for watching.